Now that we have everything we need, let's learn a little bit about some of the more advanced and helpful devise methods. So I'm going to open up our nav partial and you can see right here we have home all the way down to projects and now I want to take advantage of a built-in method called current user that device gives us so what I want and we can go back to the browser to see is when I'm signed in I want to have the option to sign out and that's it it wouldn't make any sense for me to see register links or sign in links if I'm not signed in that's what I would like to see so that's what I'm gonna add in here so I'm gonna say if current user and this is given to us by device and then I'll just finish out the uh, the else and then duplicate it and make it an end okay so if current user all I want to do is see the sign out link so in order to do that just put some embedded Ruby here and do a link to and for this link to I want it to say sign out and the method here is a little bit different it's going to be destroy underscore user underscore session path and uh, this does not take any arguments and we have to pass though a method and the method for this is going to be delete okay and that should be everything we need on that side of it now if current user is not around so if nobody is signed in all current users doing it's trying to see is someone signed in or not and if it's not that's when we want to do our register and for register, it's just going to be new user. I believe I could be wrong on this. I'm trying to do this one from memory. New user registration path. I believe that's right. And then the other one is going to be sign in. And this is going to be new user session path, I believe. And I, I can check the routes if this doesn't work. So let's see if this is going to work. I'm going to come back here, hit refresh, and there you go. We're signed in and it says sign out. So that's perfect. So now if I click sign out, now it says register and sign in. So this is all working beautifully. And you can see it also has our messages here. So I can either register and I could register for a different account. Hit sign up and there you go and it says sign out just like we want and if I click sign out I also could sign in and there you go it's all signed in so this is all working perfectly so this is how you integrate some of the built-in methods like current user into the application leveraging some of those nice device methods and also how you can use some conditionals in your navigation system to render either sign in register or sign up depending on if a user is currently looking at the page right then or not.